Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I really appreciate you joining me today and I hope all our viewers have had a great weekend and are ready for the week ahead. We've got a lot of news to get through and this first story is about one of the biggest seizures that has ever been found on UK land of cocaine. The haul was 5.7 tonnes and it was found in a container at a Southampton port on the 8th of February 2024. It is only now the police have released the details. Specialist Border Force officers were called in to carry out the search by the National Crime Agency, who identified the shipments via the police in Europe. The kilos of drugs were hidden inside cargoes of bananas and it was transported from South America. NCA officers believe the haul was heading to the port of Hamburg in Germany for onward delivery. Inquiries are ongoing with international partners across Europe with a view to identify the criminal networks involved. And due to the fact the police know that these drugs will get mixed at some point, they always account for that. So when it gets to the destination, they believe it would have been worth nearly half a billion pound. We have covered many seizures on the channel of drugs. One of the last biggest ones was 3.7 tonnes of cocaine that was seized in Southampton in 2022. And another 3.2 tonnes were found on a tugboat in Scotland in 2015. The market in the UK is estimated to be worth £4 billion a year. NCA director Chris Faramon said the record-breaking seizure is a massive hit to the international organised crime cartels. The work of the NCA has ensured that they've been taken out of circulation. They said even though it was destined for Germany, they believe some of the drugs would have arrived in the UK at some point. And the NCA is targeting international gangs to try to combat this massive importation increase that has occurred since Covid. So I look forward to hearing what the viewers have to say on this story. And don't forget that you can use cryptocurrency now to pay for promotion on Scar City. Don't forget to get in touch via the social medias or the email address that is in the description below. And in some other news that we need to get into as well. Police in Suffolk have seized £1.4 million worth of ketamine. Five men have been arrested by the National Crime Agency. NCA officers arrested Richard Saul, who's 41, and two others on a boat in the River Deben in Suffolk, and they allegedly offloaded a number of boxes from the vessel into a waiting car at a dock in Ramsholt. This occurred in the early hours of the 17th of February 2024. The boxes were taken to a storage unit. When investigators searched the unit, they found 200 kilos of ketamine that was discovered inside. Ketamine is a horse tranquilizer, and it is a drug that is often used in the party scene and it has become very popular in the last few years. Two other men called Sean Seymour, 58 years old, and Dominic Labella, who's 19 years old from Ipswich, were arrested for the transportation of the drugs. The boat is alleged to have travelled from Amsterdam to Suffolk for the purpose solely of importing drugs. Richard Saul, Sean Seymour and Dominic Labella were charged in concern with the supply of controlled drugs and being concerned in the supply and possession with intent to supply. They appeared at Ipswich Magistrates Court on Monday, charged with the offences. In this next story, it involves the Channel Tunnel and a seizure of drugs that took place last year and arrests that have took place this week. Police officers, come to the The National Crime Agency has arrested two men in Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire in connection with the attempted importation of cocaine with a street value of £2.3 million. The drugs were discovered in a car being driven through the Channel Tunnel Terminal in France on its way to the UK in September 2023. Border Force recovered 78 kilos of drugs from a specially concealed hide under the driver's seat. The driver of the vehicle was 23-year-old Louis Crocu, and he's from Derbyshire, and he was arrested and charged with the importation of Class A drugs. He remains remanded in custody, and he's due to appear in court at a future date. 
On the 8th of February 2024, NCA officers raided a house in Derbyshire and arrested a 37-year-old man suspected of smuggling drugs. At the same time, they raided another property in Nottinghamshire, but no arrests were made. A 26-year-old man later handed himself into the police in Nottingham and he was arrested on suspicion of drug importation offences. So there has definitely been a lot of seizures in the past month or two. And this definitely shows that there's also an increase in the amount of drugs that are trying to get into the country and the amount of money that can be made from it, as well as the police trying to stop this. In this next story, a married couple have been convicted for exporting half a tonne of cocaine to Australia. A National Crime Agency investigation found they had a front company that they used to send the drugs via a plane under the cover of metal toolboxes. Artie Durr, 59 years old, and Kaval Rajanda, 35 years old from Elian, were identified by the National Crime Agency and Australian Border Force as being involved in the importation of the drugs. They, in they intercepted cocaine worth £57 million upon its arrival in Sydney in May 2021. The drugs were shipped via a commercial plane from the UK and hidden inside the toolboxes. The reason as to why the drugs were worth so much is that in Australia there's a massive difference with the value. They are worth a hell of a lot more than they would be in the UK. A kilo of cocaine, for example, in the UK can be as low as £26,000. But in Australia, the same amount sells for £110,000. The police traced the consignment back to Derma Majanda, who set up the freight company with the sole purpose of smuggling drugs. Both of the defendants were directors at the company and at different points since its incorporation since 2015, with receipts and orders of the toolboxes worth £2,855. The NCA found out there had been 37 consignments sent to Australia since June 2019 and 22 of them were dummy runs and 15 of them had cocaine inside. Durr was employed by a flight service company at Heathrow from March 2003 until October 2016. Rajanda worked at the same company from 2014 to 2016. The NCA believed they used their knowledge of freight procedures to cover up their criminal activities. Durr and Rajanda were arrested at their homes in 2021 and the police found £5,000 worth of silver bars. £13,000 in cash and also £60,000 in cash was found in a safety deposit box. Further investigation in February 2023, the police discovered that they had £3 million hidden in boxes and suitcases at a storage unit in Hanwell. Financial inquiries also found they purchased a flat for £800,000 and a Land Rover for £62,000, despite declaring profits of only a few thousand pounds to HMRC. Investigation showed that both the defendants held cash in bank accounts which far exceeded their declared income and they deposited £740,000 in cash into 22 bank accounts since 2019 and were further charged with money laundering. Dirt and Majanda denied exporting cocaine and also money laundering and were convicted of 12 counts of exportation and 18 counts of money laundering by a jury at Suffolk Crown Court on the 29th of January 2024. The NCA will now start a Proceeds of Crime Act to try to recover any of the finances that they are able to locate. So I thought these stories are really interesting and I really want to hear what people have to say on this. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.